Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Maximize Your Monday. I am your vision coach, Latoya Early, and we are recording our podcast live via Facebook. Listen, this is going to be an interactive live. This is going to be an interactive podcast. So make sure you do me a favor and you share this broadcast and you interact with me. Know that I love, love, love hearts, right? That's like one of my most favorite, favorite shapes because... I don't know. I've just always been infatuated with hearts. So make sure you guys are giving me some hearts if I'm sharing something that is intriguing to you. And make sure you guys share this broadcast because we are going to talk about... First, we're going to give a shift recap. For those of you who did not um, attend the 2019 shift conference that Chase Great hosted this Saturday, let me tell y'all, it was the bomb. Listen, it was the absolute bomb okay when i tell y'all it was amazing it has shifted me i got up today yesterday i took the time to rest but today i got up i've been working on curriculum i've been working on a book i've just been constantly moving the holy spirit has really deposited some good stuff um this morning and when i got up and i did my maximize your monday checklist make sure you check that out because i want you to make sure you're getting up and you're in prayer you're thanking god you're reading you're getting you um getting yourself grounded in your business you're getting yourself grounded in what uh, you're supposed to be doing this week. But when I sat down this morning to do all of my Maximize Your Monday checklist, and I tell you I went before God in prayer, and something that I've been asking God to show me how he wants me to implement a particular part of my business into the ministry, into the church, and he just deposited into me something so clear. I was so excited. I didn't have anybody to tell Um I went into the coaching community and I told everyone there and then I'm like, I need to tell somebody else, right? Hey, Shanitra, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, I should say. So listen, guys, I want to talk about the shift recap because it was a phenomenal event. I want to talk to you about what's next, but most importantly, I want to talk to you about your purpose and business. Right. I want to I want to help you get a very clear understanding of what you've been called to do in your business. And I want you to really adapt a way of thinking that business building is more than just building systems and processes. While, listen, those things most definitely can help your business and sustain your business. It's necessary. Um, we are most definitely um, instructed to do things in decency and in order. But my question for you today and I want you guys to make sure that you're jotting this down in the comments if you are uh, listening to us by way of podcast if you're checking us out on replay um, make sure you email me at latoya at chasegreatenterprises.com make sure that you are commenting make sure that you are on our business page leaving comments inboxing us because I really want to know what your purpose is it what is your purpose in your business for those of you who are unfamiliar with me as a coach, it is my responsibility to not only help you discover your niche, but to really help you discover the why behind your business and help you create multiple streams of wealth from that why. Um, my focus is helping coaches. I coach coaches. I help coaches really discover their niche in coaching. But today, the Holy Spirit really revealed to me that niche discovery is really my area of focus. Focus in general. So whether or not I'm helping coaches, whether or not I'm helping entrepreneurs, I do have a couple private clients that I work with. I'm with helping them build their business or whether or not I'm helping spiritual leaders. It is my assignment or it is my job to help individuals just like you figure out, okay, what is the problem that I'm supposed to solve in business and whose problem am I supposed to solve in business? This is a big deal because a lot of us have, a, have this idea that because you're in business, because you're selling a particular service or a particular product, that you are supposed to sell this to everyone. Right. And so it's so funny because I get into um, I get into a lot of I, I get into a lot of controversy, if I can use that word, with a lot of spiritual leaders, because 
I do believe that even in the church, we need to be focused on what specific problem are we called to solve, right? And so I have these different disagreements all across the board, but upon reading and really studying spiritual gifts and understanding that there are a diversity of spiritual gifts, there's a diversity of uh, administrative offices, there's a diversity in different uh, areas of our gifting, it makes it so much more clear that we are to focus on a specific area. So now I want to know in your business, what are you um, focusing on? What is the problem that you've been called to solve in your business? Now understand when you are implementing a product or when you are selling a product, there should be a still there should still be a specific problem that you're called to solve. So of course I have my amazing client um, on here, Sala, who is a beast at locks. She really focuses on natural hair, right? She focuses on locks. She's a loctician. And while she's uh, simultaneously building a nonprofit and a for-profit, I want to use her for-profit as an example, which of the problem that she's called to solve in that industry. Her problem, while she's a fantastic loctician and her gift or her talent is really good at making the hair look beautiful and natural, the problem that she's solving is the inability of the client to maintain healthy hair. Right, so the problem is that I'm unable to maintain healthy hair. I'm unable to feel beautiful and empowered with my natural hair, with my natural look. So the problem that she's coming in to solve is to build and to empower women and men in their confidence and their imaging and teaching them the importance of healthy natural hair. It's so funny, we were going through her systems and one of the things that I asked as we were building the systems out for her business was, what is the process of removing locks, right? And so she very quickly was like, I don't have a process for removing locks. I'm an advocate of natural hair. I believe that once you um, have locks that you are supposed to maintain them, grow them, and take care of them. I'm not a believer of cutting locks. And I was like, whoa, that was good to me. I said, because you're standing for something. There's a standard. And so while many of us want to appeal to everyone in business and we want to give our services and our products to everyone, your service and your product is not for everyone. Cool. So we have a comment. Let's go to our comments. Ms. Destiny said, I am still trying to figure out my niche. Listen, Destiny, that is quite all right. You are not the only one still trying to figure out your niche. But once you once you really uh, recognize what your niche is in business, it changes the game. Hey, Tiana, what's going on, lady? Happy, happy Monday. Listen, so again, I want you to uh, comment in the comment section. I want you to tell me what is the problem that you're called to solve in your business? What is the purpose behind your business? Okay, cool. We can tag businesses and advertise businesses and push businesses all day and say, hey, um, support this business or hey purchase from this business but i want to know why am i purchasing from you not just because you have a good product or not because you have a good service i want to know what is the reason that you feel that you've been caught as an expert in this area or in this field whether or not you're selling hair whether or not you're coaching whether or not you're doing hair whether or not you're building a marketing business a branding business there has to be a why behind your brand there has to to be a reason why you've been called to this place. So I want to know what is the purpose behind your business. And listen, if you're still trying to figure that out, if you're still if you're still struggling with understanding the why or the niche of your business, it's okay. Um, it takes time. It takes time of development, and it takes a lot of time of intentional. Um, it takes a lot of time of an intentional research. Um, one thing that I do want to encourage you to do if you're still struggling with this area is to first seek God. Listen, why are you trying to implement a gift in your business when you haven't even asked the gift giver how to use it? Right. And so if you're going to build a business and if you're going to be successful at building this business, then I am encouraging you. I'm challenging you to make sure that you, for number one, seek the creator of your business. 
right? Who's the CEO of your business? Who's the one that is helping you to uh, maneuver through life in this business? Because something that I've learned over the several years that I've been in business, for those of you who are new to Maximize Your Monday, um, and for those of you who have, who's been around for quite some time, you guys know I've been in the industry of entrepreneurship for about 15 years. And so I've gone from selling and doing business just so that I can get money. I've gone from using my talents to get money. I've gone from just trying to figure it out to finally arriving to a space where I understand that my business, Chase Great, is not about me. It's about helping individuals chase great in their business. It's about helping individuals um, create a platform or a foundation in their business that is going to help them change the lives of the people that they're called to, to impact. Right. And so, again, I want to I want you guys to let me know what your purpose is in business. Um, this past Saturday at our 2019 shift conference, we went over so much material. When I tell you all the attendees left super full, I'm talking about wow, out super, super full and overwhelmed. It was absolutely amazing. But that is my overall objective. My objective of the shift conference is to shift your perspective. I need you to shift your space in business. I need you to shift your way and your mindset. I need you to shift the way that you think. Listen. Here's a, the best way to win in business is to change the way that you're looking at where you're going or where you are in business. And so as a recap of the shift conference, we started out with the mindset shift and we talked about how we implemented great strategies on how to shift your mindset in business. Then we jumped over to shifting our market. Listen, when I tell y'all, Sydney Lorraine dropped some nuggets, my team was like, um, excuse me. Ma'am, can you put this in the coaching community because there's no way that I can dissect this whole elephant at one time. And I just, I was cracking up laughing because when I tell you that the content that she shared, thank you, Angel, it was amazing. Listen, the content that Sydney Lorraine shared was in alignment with the content that we teach in our coaching community. Oh my gosh, when I tell y'all the way that God aligned everything, so I had the co uh, the, the speakers send me PowerPoint and content so that I can make us one master PowerPoint and one master workbook so that we can all flow together, right? But I didn't really take the time to review their content. I just trust that they had what they needed to teach the people. But when I tell you when everybody got up, everything worked systematically, it was like, a puzzle piece. When I tell you, it was fantastic. Sydney Lorraine came in and shared some uh, business marketing techniques with our websites. She came and changed the game. I'm telling you, the coaches was in there overwhelmed. Then, of course, we had a fantastic lunch by Blue Six who came in and did their, listen, we had some chicken salad sandwiches. We had this berry salad. We had these little cucumber appetizer things that I don't know what they were, but they were good. But when I tell you, she came in and they set it up and it was such a smooth process. Process, I didn't have to worry about anything when it came to lunch. Then after lunch, we had my favorite, favorite wealth coach, our money mindset coach, Kara Ivy of the Ivy League. Listen, she came in and talked about how to build wealth in your business and in your lifestyle. And she gave us systems that we need to start implementing and how to break down the cost of your product or your services. If you're running a product-based business, what does your profit margins look like? How are you paying yourself? Are you paying yourself? Are you putting aside money for taxes? Are you putting aside money? Are you incorporating your subscriptions and your software in your um, profit, or I'm sorry, in your uh, fees for your services on your and your products? Listen, the, the worst thing in the world is to go to a business owner, especially a small business owner, and ask that small business owner for a discount. Understand that there are certain itemized uh, line items that we have to make sure are covered every time we uh, set out a price 
for a product or service. So if you do not have those things established in your business, you need to go sit down and get to writing, right? So then once our amazing uh, money mindset coach, Miss Kara Ivy of the Ivy League, once she completed her section, then we had to shift our ministry. And when I tell you, Miss Tiffany Elder came in and she changed the game. She's like, listen, all of this information is good. She said, but if you're not having daily meetings with God to tell you how to operate in your business, you're going to find yourself running in circles. When I tell y'all, I gained a new revelation of resting in God. When I tell y'all, I learned a new revelation of being intimate with Christ while in my business. Listen, I know that Christ is the CEO of Chase. Great. Hands down. You don't even have to ask me that. But when you are consulting him for every single day, decision in your business, it just makes everything that much easier. And understand this, while you are consulting God in your business, know that the enemy can hear whatever you're asking God for. So don't think that you building your, your business on the foundation of Christ is going to be easy because the moment you say, Lord, I trust you, the enemy is doing what? He's constantly seeking who he may devour. So listen, I want you guys, there's two things, well that says four, but two things I need you to do for me um, over the course of this week. Remember, maximizing your Monday is about creating strategies in your business that is going to give you the opportunity to start over. Everything that you may have failed at last week, and there's a whole lot of things that I failed at last week, I want you to erase those things Forget about them, throw them out the window, and let's use today to start over. This is your spiritual reboot. This is the time for you to say, you know what? I jacked up last week, right? I was asleep all the time. I was lazy. I was procrastinating. I was playing around. I wasn't focused. But here's a new Monday. Here's a new week. And here's a new chance for you to chase great. Make sure that this week you are doing one of two things. I need you to do one. I need you to identify the purpose of your business. Stop thinking that your product and your service is for everyone because it's not. Even though it sounds good and it feels good and you're like, listen, whoever wants to buy this will buy it. They're not going to buy it. Understand that even at the whatever it is that you enjoy um, looking at or using, that there was a person who sat down and created the ideal person that was going to purchase that item. And so I need you to do the same thing. I need you to stop... Um, lowballing yourself in business. I want you to sit down and count the cost. First Timothy talks about counting the cost before we build the house. Listen, if you're trying to build wealth in your business, you need to know what is it required? What's going to be required of you to gain the wealth in your business? If you're looking for strategy, if you're looking to figure out how to build and how to develop, I encourage you to invest in your business and find someone that can help you build your business. Listen, What's crazy is, is that while we have the grand idea, we all the time can't see all of the different elements of our business. And sometimes we may need to bring in a consultant or a coach to come in to kind of help us see things through. Um, I've done it several times where I couldn't see the bigger picture, but Saturday I saw the bigger picture. They showed it to me. They laid it out. I am going to forever be a student. While God has definitely called me to be a teacher, I am going to forever be a student. And so should you in your business. So listen, we did our shift recap. You guys have two assignments. The first assignment is what? I want you to identify your purpose in your business. What is your niche? What are you called to do? What's the problem you're called to solve? And then number two, I want you to count the cost. Are you cheating yourself? on how much your services or your product should be. Remember we did a live, I did a Maximize Your Monday a few weeks back and I talked about three words that you needed to read in your vocabulary. If you're gonna grow your business, there are three words that you need to get rid of. One is being, is a four, Two is being expensive and three is being broke. So if you're going to sit down and you're going to create prices for your business, understand if you are a full-time entrepreneur like me, listen, my entrepreneur, my business pays my bills. My business feeds my children. My business pays DTE and consumers energy and AT&T and Sprint 
and whoever else we pay every month, right? And so in my business, I have to make sure that I'm counting the cost of my software, my subscriptions. I'm using MailChimp. I use PayPal. I use Square. I use Zoom. Um, I use, I have insurance. I have business insurance. Um, what else do I pay per month? Uh, I use Canva to use certain graphics. And so when I'm sitting down and I'm counting the cost, not only do I have to sit down and write all of my business expenses out, but I sit down and I write all of my personal expenses out. And so there's really no room for me to give you a discount because you're my cousin. Like, I can't call DTE and be like, hey, DTE, I gave my cousin a discount today. Now, that's not saying that you shouldn't use the spirit of discernment and know when to give when God tells you to give. But I want you to be bold and courageous in your business and knowing that you can set the prices of your business. Go out and research the industry. How much are people paying for coaches? Listen, the, the, the line or the extremeness of coaching prices can vary. People are paying anywhere from $50 an hour to $50,000 a year. It just really all depends. But the most uh, important question to ask yourself is do you value yourself enough to place a certain number behind your business and guarantee results? right? What are you doing in your business and how are you changing lives in your business? I don't care what you're selling. I don't care if you're selling weave. I don't care if you're selling crayons. I don't care if you're selling candles. I don't care if you're writing books. You need to determine the problem that you're solving in that person's life. Once you identify the problem, understand that people are looking for other people to be the solution. So once you identify a clear pathway of being a solution um, provider in someone's life, listen, it completely creates a different type of element for your business. So listen, I am all done, guys, with Maximize Your Monday. I am so excited. I want to share with you guys what's next. So I've had a lot of people to, uh, come to me and say, Latoya, I'm not a coach. But I want to, I need to come to one of your trainings. I had a, someone text me the other night, like, when are you going to do another master, uh, mastermind class? Like, what about the business owners who's not uh, building their coaching business? I know. I love y'all too. I haven't forgotten. So this is what's happening. What's next is I am going to be a part of a conference or a workshop or a VIP day, I'm going to call it, um, on June 1st. It's called Access Granted. I'm going to put the flyer in the comments. And this is going to be a full day experience. Okay, you couldn't attend the shift conference because you're not a coach. But I have another experience for my business owners who are looking to build a kingdom business. I'm all about helping you build a kingdom business. Why? Because I understand the benefit of building business God's way. So I want to invite you out to Access Granted. It is a conference that is hosted by um, Kingdom Mogul Jesse Cole, he is a fantastic coach who has invited me to his platform to come out and teach. And I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm teaching because I'm just not going to tell y'all. It will be on mindset, though, because that's where I focus. And it will be on niche because I need you to understand that in identifying your niche, there has to be a shift in the way that you think about the solution that you have to the problem. If that if y'all caught that. So listen, I'll make sure to put that information in the comments. But listen, I am so excited about this week. I'm so glad about what God is doing for both you and I and our businesses. Thank you so much for joining me today for Maximize Your Monday. If you have any questions about Maximize Your Monday, if you have any questions for me as your vision coach, because I am your virtual vision coach, whether or not we meet well, we do meet weekly, actually. So I guess I'm really your virtual vision coach. Um, if you have any questions for me, make sure that you guys inbox me. I am excited about this event on June 1st. I want to help you build your business God's way. So if you have any questions, I'm here. I believe that there's still partial sponsorships sponsorships available for the June 1st event. So if you're interested in attending, I do believe that there's a partial sponsorship available. Inbox me for more information and I will see you guys next Monday. Have a fantastic week and be blessed.